Hello, my name's Sarah and I am Head of Faculty for Visual Arts, Performing Arts and Media. If you're interested in a career in the creative industries, we offer a range of courses that will help you get a really good experience, a portfolio together and the entry requirements for lots of university courses, apprenticeships and jobs straight in that industry. Because creativity helps you develop loads of transferable skills, our courses are really good as well if you just want another subject to go along with other subjects that you need for specific university courses. So creativity helps you with problem solving, time management, all those things that you can use in other subjects. So in short, studying these subjects helps develop the creativity within all of us. It helps us express who we are as individuals and our understanding of the world around us. Hello, my name is Abigail and I am the Assistant Head of Faculty for Visual Arts, Performing Arts and Media. So we usually call our department VAPM. So VAPM is made up of four smaller departments and we offer a variety of A-levels and B-techs. So in the Visual Arts department we offer three A-levels which is Fine Art, Graphics and Photography. So in Fine Art you would look at a range of different mediums and techniques such as you would look at advanced painting, drawing, mixed media, sculpture, a lot of printmaking as well, we'd love to do some printmaking in our department. For the students who want to do architecture, Fine Art is usually the course that they would study alongside uh, other subjects such as like maths or physics. In photography you will learn how to properly use a DSLR camera so you will not be using your phones to actually create photo shoots. We have DSLR cameras in the department ready for you to use. You would also, because this is classes an art photography course, so you would learn how to transform your images maybe into something a little bit more exciting such as how manipulating them, turning them into sculptures. We've also got a dark room so you go in the dark room to do a lot of film photography, analogue photography, we offer cyanotypes and you will work in sketchbook the whole time as well to display what you have done through your course and then that's how it would be assessed. In graphic communication we do lots and lots of practical experimentation, it's not just a computer based course, we look at lots of illustration techniques such as drawing, painting, printmaking that we then take into making things like design work, advertising, creating campaigns. We look at really creative ways um, to use graphic communication. You will also learn the basics of digital programs such as Photoshop and you'll learn the basics of graphic design, so composition, typography and you'll put all that together with your practical work to create some really exciting design work. For the art, graphics and photography A level, it is part coursework and also there is an exam. This is a 15 hour exam that is broken up over three weeks, so it is done in segments. There are also for each one of these A-levels there is an essay and it's about approximately about 2,000 words long, it's about 20% of your overall A-level um, and then also there is an exhibition at the end of the two years. In our music department we have two A-level courses, music A-level and music technology A-level. Music A-level is much more traditional and based on performance and an understanding of classical music right up to modern day film scores. Music technology is much more based around the recording studio and the skills that you'd need to use on those. So in music A level, um, you'll perform a recital and that can be on any instrument. You'll also compose two pieces of your own. You'll learn how to analyse and describe different types of music. It'll give you a really good understanding of performance and composition. Music technology covers the history and development of music recording technology. You'll learn practical skills for recordings and compositions, including the usage of modern recording and production technologies, um, including the function of a digital audio workstation. You'll look at both theoretical and practical elements and learn the skills required to operate a recording studio. So for both of these A-levels, music and music technology, these are a combination of practical coursework elements and written exams. So within the performing arts department, we offer two courses. This is performing arts and uh, dance. Because they are the same BTEC framework, you are able to study one of the two. So whichever you would prefer to do, there is obviously more dance in the dance subject, whereas performing arts is mainly based on acting and performance. In performing arts, you will explore skills and techniques for live performances and acting styles, along with two externally assessed units. You will do a combination of practical workshops and rehearsals, performance and practitioner research, you will develop your own skills within the context of set themes and create and stage your own performances. In dance there is a strong emphasis on practical work and a combination of internally assessed units and externally assessed exam units. 
you will study a range of alternate dance styles and, and creative approaches such as contemporary, jazz and commercial dance. As well as developing your own dance skills and techniques during workshops, you will also um, gain knowledge on the dance industry, practitioners and then also live performances. In our media department we offer four courses. We've got media and film A-level, we do B-tech media and we also have a level two C-tech media. In A-level film you don't just get to watch and analyse lots of films, you get to make your own film and that's really important. You write and shoot and edit your own film sequences learning technical, creative and practical skills. You'll examine a variety of films from past and present, American, British, European and global cinema. In your exam, you'll be assessed on your knowledge and understanding of specific film texts and their ability to create meaning and responses from different filmmaking techniques. Media A level is for students who want to do an academic media course at university. You will focus on how media messages shape the way we think, behave and react to the world around us, as well as who is giving us these messages, why they are giving them to us and what their agenda is. You get to make a piece of media during the course, it could be a magazine, a podcast, a video product. So we've got A-level film and A-level media. In both of those subjects you have practical coursework elements and a written exam. We also offer BTEC Creative Media. This is a level 3 course, um, like the A-level, but a BTEC. This course is appropriate for students who want to follow an apprenticeship route or pursue more creative subjects at the university, such as media production. This course is made up of four internally assessed units, but it also has an externally assessed as that exam. In year one, you will look at writing copy, interview techniques and digital magazine produ production. Um, you get to create your own digital magazine using your own designs, photography and layouts using Photoshop and InDesign. In year two, you look at page layout and design for digital medias, and you sit your digital media skills external exam. In media, we also offer a level two course, CTEC Media. This is for students who may need an additional year to increase their grade to level two, in order to meet the entry criteria for level three. This course is 100% internally assessed, so there's no exam, and you'll study three units focusing on media products, audiences, film print marketing, and media print production. If you study performing arts and dance, you'll also have the chance to take part in the college production. We have staged performances of Rock of Ages, Adam's Family and Les Mis, to name a few in the past. This has always been really successful, uh, the audience really enjoyed themselves and it is a collaborative production and all the it is led by performing arts, music get involved, uh, the art students sometimes do a bit of set painting and it involves staffs and students from across the wider faculty. It gives us and you a chance to show off all of your talents and joy of them. So across our faculty we offer loads of subject specific enrichment from selling your own artwork at professional art fairs and galleries to workshops with universities, performances out in the community and working with professionals in their field. We really love trips and we aim to give our students a really exciting and meaningful and valuable experience in the two years that we have in our department. In Vapern we've been to universities to give students experience of what it might be like to study um, subjects like music or media at university. We, in art we do lots of trips to galleries, we really like gallery visits. In media we like to go to Harry Potter World which is always a really popular trip and really enjoyable. Across the subjects we have guest speakers from professional musicians to come in and play in the studio. We have uh, lecturers from universities, filmmakers, artists coming to talk to people. We give you the opportunity to actually try and put the skills that you're learning into practice. So performing out in the community, music recitals um, out in Rotherham Town Centre. Um, and We've had our performing arts students um, have had the chance to be part of films that have been made that have gone out to schools in Rotherham. And we get involved in whatever we can really, whatever's going off because the creative industries are moving so fast. If there's an opportunity, we try and get involved in that. Right, okay, thank you for uh, listening. If you've got, if you want to find out anything more about Vapham, check out our Instagrams. We pop all our um, artwork. Um, what's going on in the department on there and you get a really good idea of what it's like to be a student on there and we hope to meet you soon.